night. And then the monster here, Bo Sawyer, and I get the opportunity to take on TJ, Tornado Jones, and Joey O'Reilly. And when we step in the ring with them, you already know what you're supposed to do. That's not like me. I'm not going to sit here and give you instructions and shove things down your throat and demand that you be a certain kind of monster. But I know that you have some potential in there that has not been unlocked yet. You're a big man. Guys like Derek Moss shouldn't be throwing you around. <laughs> Sam Knight shouldn't be pinning your shoulders to the mat, should he? Should he? Hey, it's okay. I like to be brutalized. It's good for my spirit. It really is. It's good for yours too. You just gotta, just gotta accept it. And what I'm doing is called constructive criticism. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go out there and we're gonna criticize destructively. We're gonna destroy TJ. We're gonna destroy Joey O'Reilly. We're gonna leave them in a heap. And when we're done, yeah, it's on to bigger and better things, but we'll figure that out later. Got that? With me? That's it. That's it. broadcast table tonight is Travis Weir. Uh, Travis, I uh, hope things are going well for you in the rehabilitation department. Things are going good. You know why things are going good? Because I'm back here at UWC Online. We'll talk about that a little bit more later. I mean, come on. We have a match going on right now. Well, we have the tag team champions, Renato Jones and Joey O'Reilly, and we have them going up against a team that are really... Uh, it's an intriguing matchup. Two people who, one person who is almost completely uncontrollable and uh, Bo Sawyer when he gets right down to it and the other one who, whose motives are never clear in Jimmy Carrot. Well, you know, there's a fun fact here, Eric Roy. All four of these men in the ring have been tag team champion. Bo Sawyer with one half of Rough Cut, one of the only two teams to be a two-time UWC Tag Team Champion. Yeah, who's the other one? The other team to be a two-time Tag Team Champion is the current Tag Team Champion, oh, Joey O'Reilly right. and Tony o. Jones. That's right. Okay, you got me there. Yes. But Jimmy Carrot was a Tag Team Champion with Aaron Matthews, and they by far had to be the best Tag Team Champions we have because they did the throne the year-long reign that a Windy City tag team had, but that's for another day as well. I'm very pumped up and excited for this. Well, this is going to be an interesting matchup. You've got two high flyers who uh, show absolutely nothing but contempt. Look at that aggression. Nothing but contempt for their own bodies in Jones and O'Reilly. Jimmy Carrot, who has been known to fly, but also will take it to the mat. Up, whoo, drag off of that. And it's certainly uh, nothing but pure aggression and strength from Bo Sawyer. Yet, yeah. Bo Sawyer, you know, I have once confirmed him as the corn fed meathead. And then he hit me real hard in the face. Yeah. So I like to say he's a real big mean guy. Yeah. I would not want to be on the opposite side of the ring. No, absolutely not. Certainly the, the team of Carrot and the advantage as far as strength is concerned. You know, I think that leg drop from Tornado Jones was a little low there. Might have been. Mike Underwood should have saw that. Might have been. And there's that fireman's carry. Standing fireman. He's got a lot of strength for not being a big fella. Joey O'Reilly, I hate to say it, but he does show that dynamite can come packages with a move like that. Oh, and drop off of it and get to two count. He's not going to get Carrot like that, I don't think. No, you know why he can't get Jimmy Carrot like that? Jimmy Carrot is a former tag team, former UWC heavyweight champion. Jimmy Carrot can, you got to do more than that to take him down. I was there for Jimmy Carrot's first win as a wrestler. I know what he can do. But I also know that since then he's developed a, an attitude where, uh, flash off of that, and, uh, and another one. Ref, get one of these guys out of the ring. That's the two count. Did seem to stretch the five count, didn't it? Yeah. What's wrong with that? You know, I don't understand. What's up with that? The ref should have been counting to five. He needs to make sure Tornado Jones is opening up those hands. 
Yeah, landing a couple elbows there, Jones now. Oh, there you go. Not too close to Bo Sawyer that time. And what are you talking about? All I saw was was Tornado Jones hit the rope. One, two. By Jimmy Carrot. Top there with that cravat move he does. There's a nice tag. And See, look, that's Bo a Sawyer. clean tag. Absolutely. And you know, one man in, one man out. One thing that you know of being a former tag team champion is you're going to have to have. Oh, power. sweet pork chops. Yes. You're going to have to have the teamwork in order to win. Can a team like Bo Sawyer and Jimmy Carrot, with their disparate abilities and mentality, form a cohesive tag team? You know, oh. I don't say this a lot, but I believe they they have the pedigree to be the best tag team. Look at their singles oh. runs as well as tag team runs, and look at oh. that manhandling strength right there. Oh. Ouch, ouch. Getting down closer to the ring. You can feel that over here. And you can see a good double team that time. Put some sauce on those chops. Tornado Jones, easily the lightest wrestler on the roster right now. But also the one who can absorb the most punishment, I think. Very I once gained respect for Tornado Jones. But then I woke up and realized it was all just a dream. Well, he's got a few individual wins. To go look, at, look, Tornado Jones will not let go of Bo Sawyer's boots. I don't understand why. If someone, if you could have tagged your partner, why would you grab your opponent's boot and hold on? Jones blocks that time, lands a right of his own, lands another right, and a third. Jones off the ropes, but Garrett follows him in. Beating a speedster at his own game that time Jimmy didn't work. Jimmy is an impressive athlete. And that looked like it hurt real bad. Yes, it did. And taunting in the corner of O'Reilly. You know, Eric Lloyd, I haven't seen in a while. How have you been? Well, we've been okay. Eric Lloyd, there's One, a Northern Lights suplex right there. You don't need to hear about you right now. We need to focus on this action. Very few people need to hear about me, actually. And another cover, but he knew that one wasn't going to work. That See, that's, that's the Jimmy Carrick that... That sometimes has cost him matches, but I don't think he cares. But that is the Jimmy Carrot that became the heavyweight champion. Yeah, I, I don't. I sometimes I just don't think he cares about the win at all. Jimmy that makes him more dangerous than your average athlete. Jimmy Carrot is the only man to lose every championship he has won in this company by never getting pinned. Aaron Matthews was pinned when they lost the tag team titles. He lost the heavyweight title in a in a. A One devastating power One, two, oh, no. Oh. Getting back to what I've said before, you rudely interrupted me. Jimmy Kerr is by far the greatest athlete, well, of course, besides me, to lace up a set of boots here. And Bo Sawyer's got the muscle. Now he's just toying with Tornado Jones right there. Rocks the big man. I believe, I believe that's a legal tag. And here we go. You knock noggins. Oh, swing and a miss that time. Another one. Oh, he got him. And nailed him. Here we go. I believe he calls out the Dragon Dagger back kick, and there's a nice, nice diving punch. And got rid of Sawyer. But he's got to open that hand on the punch. He's landing a couple of forearms. Now going to whip him into the turnbuckle. Nope, swing and turn over and following in his carrot. That doesn't land. Couple of back flips into the corner. Carrot back in. Meets the boot. Carrot's rolling. Oh, no, and a kick out that time. Just kicks him straight down and a double oh. stomp to the back. A delicious double stomp right to the ponytail of Jimmy Carrot. Oh, there's a drop kick. Drop and drop kick. One, two, oh. no, 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 no. I really thought Joey O'Reilly. He was so close to that the heat is on becoming the heavyweight champion. Very, very close. He was that close, and guess what? He was just that close for pinning another former heavyweight champion. That's right. Now he's setting up for something here. Comes in. Oh, Superman oh, punch. punch. And cravat. Oh, Give me a little slap. He nails it. Oh, he's got to cover him, though. Who's the legal Cornel man? Cornell Jones is not the legal man. No. And here, I think, they're, I think they're messing up here. Bo Sawyer is what up. is Bo Sawyer doing? He is confused. And Sawyer is up. Sawyer is in, and he trashes Jones. And Carrot moves out of the way. Oh! Oh! He's out Bo cold. Sawyer with a knockout punch right there. And Sawyer just pounding away. 
Bro's gonna watch out. He's not the legal man. He's gonna get disqualified. We've got a disqualification here. Bo Sawyer, Sawyer just cost me twenty dollars. Bo Sawyer has cost a lot of things here. He may cost Joey O'Reilly a lot more here. Ah! Oh. That was the song. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That's just pounded on Jones. Look at Jimmy Carroll applauding his beast. Again, I just uh, now I'm Carrot, Carrot trying to. I'm trying a firm to, believer. Yeah, I'm. You look right here to my right. Tag Team Championship. They did not need to win this match. The belts were not on the line. And you can see now again, stopping away at O'Reilly. You already got hit in mid-air. The belts were on the line. I just don't know. They would have won. Travis, I just don't know. I can see he's, he's doing his best to control Bo Sawyer, but I just don't know whether they're going to be able to keep it together Ladies enough to get the The winners of the match is a result of a disqualification. Tornado Jones and Peace. I don't know. He says, Jimmy Fans, Carrot. If you know how, message me on Twitter at Big Stupid Elbow because those two guys right there are the future of tag team wrestling here in the United Wrestling Coalition. Jimmy, they just showed why. Jimmy Carrot says he can make him even more of a monster, but can he control it once he does? We'll have to see. More coming up on UWC Online. UWC Online is taking over the world of social media. Connect with all of our fans through the official Facebook page, facebook.com slash UWC Georgetown. Watch all the past and current episodes of UWC Online on our official YouTube page. Get late breaking news and notes when you follow at UWC Georgetown on Twitter. And check out the photographs and still shots for John C. UWC Online. A truly interactive experience. Tonight, Cecil Cerveda turns over a new leaf. You see, the days of me losing and losing and losing are over. Now that I have Bradley Dupree in my corner, well, he's not here tonight, but he will be here next week and he will be watching at home. I'm going to prove to him why Cecil Cerveza is a man, why a Cecil Cerveza will be a next champion in the United Wrestling Coalition. And tonight, Derek Moss, I start with you. This contest is the first round of the Horizon Cup. On my right is the Dominican Devil, Cecil Cerveza, who is from the Dominican Republic. And on, and on my left is the young thriller, Derek Moss. Online, we've got the young thriller Derek Moss going up against El Diablo Dominicano Cecil Cerveza. You know what? Cecil Cerveza did make it to the final four last year. Well, there isn't any doubt that, and he did it by doing stuff like that, but he lost the match by doing stuff like that, pandering to the crowd. That is true, and he's always been at his best when he's been focused. And I have to say, coming to the ring, he was a little more focused than normal. Perhaps it is because of his newest association. Could be, you know, I've been in the ring a million times, it seems like, with Cesar Cerveza. Once, he popped my shoulder out of place, which actually took me out of the Horizon Cup tournament last year. And who could ever forget at UWC 6, he broke my nose. He's a very vicious competitor. He is, but he's... Just like he's picking apart the knee right there of Derek Moss. The young thriller. Yeah, the young thriller Derek Moss. I saw this young man in one of his first couple matches in Springfield. Very young yet in the business. He's still got a ways to go as far as growing into his role. 
Well, he's a, got a good future ahead of him. Though. Here's a fun fact. Five years ago at a land far, far away, Derek Moss actually debuted on the same night in UWC as myself. But obviously he doesn't have the talent I do or he would be sitting here. That's certainly logic. A little skewed, but it's certainly logic. In the ring, it's all Cecil Cerveza right now. All right with that leg drop, but uh, one, two, no. Moss kick out. Cerveza, former UWC champion, and uh, recently lining himself up with, um, well, <laughs> the attorney, Bradley Dupree. You know what, Bradley Dupree, he's a nice gentleman. You know why I say he's a nice gentleman? Because he's got a lawsuit against you? No. Bradley Dupree sent me flowers while I was in the hospital. Recovering from surgery, which I then ripped the card up and gave to a very attractive nurse and told her to have a nice day. Good boy. That's the way you do it. We have a problem going here if we keep agreeing on things here. Oh, what a thrust kick to the gut of Cecil Cerveza by Derek Moss. Moss trying to throw Cerveza out. Cerveza doesn't go. I'm getting up. Oh, this isn't good. I don't like this. He is illegally using the ropes. He certainly is. Oh, right to the side of the head. And Referee, uh, Darren Drifter, Derek Drifter, I don't know. Darren Drifter, yes, he's the first he man. He needs to get on Derek Moss and have him open up those hands. Oh, wow. Really nailed him. And uh, while Moss is making some hay here, you're in against the former UWC champion. You better be doing more than playing to the crowd. And this time he meets the foot. There's a hard boot from Cecil Cerveza. Right forearm. Right forearm. And uh, Cerveza now getting a little momentum going his way. Cecil showing a little bit of why he became the champion and why he lost the championship. Right Moves like that in. got him the championship. Pandering to the crowd like this, lost him the championship. That's right. He's done better now. Cover. One, two. He's done better when there has been somebody outside the ring handling the crowd, keeping him focused. And that may be what Mr. Dupree is going to be able to do for him. You know, you talk about the alliance with Bradley Dupree, the alliance with Benjamin Conrad. And Derek Moss, I don't... Did his knee just give out on him? Did his... Well, he just... I, I th no, wait. Fans, fans, this is no no picking fun. I, I believe Derek Moss is severely hurt. Derek yeah. Moss turned to hit the ropes. And just came, came down. down. Went down like a, like a brick house. Like a sack of potatoes. And now, Cerveza brings him up. And you know he's been using this figure four. And there he goes. Gets him and, and he hooked got him. him hooked good. And Derek Moss is fighting. Derek Moss is fighting. That's right. He's got it now. He's got it now. He's got it hooked. Not as good as he would like it, but it is hooked. Still saying no. Boy, he's right in the middle of the ring, too. That is tough ring position there. The shoulders are down. Oh, close it up. The figure four. I'm trying to pound his way out. The hardest moves to get out of. There's only one way to get out of this, and I can tell you how, because I have done it successfully nine times in my career. You roll to the left, push your opponent off balance, and you will then have an Indian death lock. I don't know why. He went to the right and got to the ropes. That's a double break. He went to our right, his left. That's not correct at all. Listen, we've been agreeing on stuff all night, and now you're going to start picking fun at me? I'm not picking fun, I'm just saying the facts. But even though he does okay. get out of the hole, okay. he, he broke the, the hole. hole. He is still in bad shape. I have successfully done that nine times in my career. He has now done it once. Well, he went to the right. Let's we'll okay. see if it does him any good. He does be able to get oh, out. what a kick to the middle. Another second kick. This oh, is that time. Thriller 
got a little extra on that one. The young thriller showing what gave him that nickname. Yeah, but you know that knee has still got to be in terrible shape. It does, but you see Cecil Vervesa still standing strong, showing why he's a former champion. He's got to get on top of it. He's got to do something. He could be calling lights out, maybe a little buzzsaw action. Roll the dice, we'll see. Nope, oh. got him up. Oh. Big slam. body slam. Now he's going up. This doesn't always turn out well for Cecil Cervais. I have I have never seen Cecil Cervais successfully come off the top rope. This is completely scary. And that's why he landed in first. I awesome. believe the last time I seen him do that was at the 2014 event, Domestic Disturbance. And what did we cover on that? Yeah. Reasons like that is why he lost the championship. Now he's oh. oh, he landed the, he landed but it was on that bad knee. He landed the atomic drop, but he landed it on the bad knee, and that's not gonna But, happen. but, wait, time out. Oh, there's two good things about that. Sure, he used the bad knee, but causing friction, causing pain in that knee, can also cause some blood movement in that knee. Yes, you need to rest, but yes, you also need to rehab that knee while in oh. the Oh, lands a big boot, and Cerveza goes down, and this could be all. One, two, no. See, Derek Moss paused right there when that knee hit that top rope. Had he not paused, he would be advancing in this tournament. Maybe so. I have to give you that one. That, that was, you can't pause at any time. See, look, we're friends here. again. We're agreeing on something. Now, now see, Derek Moss, I, I would not get behind the people. I would stay focused. I don't care. Looks like he's setting up a super kick. No, 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 no. That, that's a very good move. He did the smart thing right there. He ducked out. He's going to make the referee back his man off. That is the smarts taken off. And he dropped him. Hard shot to that knee right there. Brilliant. Oh, what's this? Oh, wow, wow, roll. One, One, two, two three. three. He got him. With that loud missed throw, he wraps the arm. Yeah, for you cannot get the shoulder off the mat. What knee did he hook? The knee that been bothering him the whole match. Kudos, Cecil Cerveza. Well done. I have to say that he really put the match together and came up with the move that would win it for him. That figure four has really done a lot for him, and we'll see what Bradley Dupree does for him as well as he advances in this cup. Tremendously done. champion, the Warden, up against Sam Knight, and the Warden goes yeah. right at him. The Warden's crazy. I can speak. Oh! oh! A great drop kick that time. That's an old-fashioned muley drop kick there. Oh, that was an explosion if I've ever seen one. I tell you what, I can give you a quick rundown of both people here. Uh, one, I beat both of them. Two, that's all that matters. Okay, let's get into the real story here. Sam Knight. He's been working. Oh! Hey, shotgun drop kick. He just fell a punch right to the face. Yeah. Sam just... Knight's been working very hard to get this online title. And again, he met with a right hand by the warden. The, but Sam Knight got lucky in a triple threat match. Well, you know, there, folks, if you saw that triple threat match, you saw that the warden had the opportunity to really put away Sam Knight with the with the stick, that bow stick he carries to the ring. But something held him up, and um, I have never seen that from the warden before. It, I wouldn't call it mercy. No, and, you know, and you know what? The warden, I, I can, I can express this the best. You know why? I am the first wrestler the warden was unleashed on over a year ago at the same event that he is on. My once thought to be friend Phage X Machina went to a dark place and came out the warden. And you know what? I was upset then. But fast forward a few months later, he was the second 
online champion here in this company. He held it for a long time. Too. He did hold it for a long time, and he beat Frank Wyatt. Not many men can say that. No, and and uh, he, ate, of, course, of course, the way that happened is a different story. But the fact is, he was I able saw to maintain. And one, two, three. The fact is, he's been able to maintain that belt up until that triple threat match. And Sam Knight. But in a triple threat match, you only have three and a third percent of chance of winning. That is true, and again, we don't have big Papa Pump mathematics. So, of course, I mean, I don't know. I, I'm upset that I can't compete for the online championship. But you know what? I like doing. Besides that, I like watching a knockdown drag out wrestling match like we got going on right now. Yeah, one thing we know about Sam Knight, he's got a lot of heart. There's not any doubt about that. The question is, where is, where is the warden's heart right now? Did, did he actually show? The doesn't bit? have one. Well, we say that, but in that triple threat match, he did hold up, and that's not anything he's done before. That's that's the warden is a soulless, heartless. Dark specimen or block that overcame right. Rage X Machina. Right. Among other things, duck and oh, line. takes him down. But the warden, you take your eyes, you can't stop a big body slam right there it's from Sam Knight. Knight setting up. Something. I will credit Sam Knight for one thing. Oh no, block that time. He was going for the finish. And I will credit Sam handle. Knight for being one of the luckiest men ever. He Off was lucky ropes. that Parker Dirge was watching my match. Woo! Got the decision reversed, whatever. And then he got lucky a few weeks later when he became the online champion. He will not get lucky tonight. I one, almost two. guarantee it. And uh, you almost got your double three count while I was guaranteeing that. And Sam Knight, ready in the corner, waiting for the warden to make his way up. The Warden started off very quickly in this match, but seemed to lose focus, and I'm wondering what's playing inside that head. Whoa. But just when you take your eyes off the Warden and you let him rest, this is what happens. Up, Fireman's carry, standing Fireman's. Oh, big death by dishonor right there. Was Hold up, oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Wait a second. Look around you. Over here. No. Not that way. What is he, what is going on? Warden. I'm coming back. I will no longer be silenced by your madness. What is going on? My time will come and yours will end. What is he talking? Who is that? Look oh behind you. That's that's fit. <laughs> Show yourself around me again. 